All right, we're going to go back to the questions in just a minute, but now we'd like to welcome Karen back to the show. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, Karen. You got your uh, hands full. Who is this? Oh, yeah. This is Mole, and Mole is a spotted turtle. All right. All right. Um, do all spotted turtles have the same spots? Um, actually, the arrangement and the number of spots varies very greatly between individuals. Okay. So when they are first born, um, when they first hatch out of the egg, the hatchlings tend to have one spot for each one of those scutes or one of those plates. However, when they get older, they start to have a lot more spots. No kidding. Um, but the turtles that get really old, some of those spots might fade away. All right. Um, so some turtles have actually been found with no spots no at kidding. all. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So you saying that, where are we going to find these guys? Um, these guys are found all along the east coast of the United States, um, right. including here in the northeast. All right, cool. Now you were saying as they get old, the spots may mm -hmm. fade away. How old can they get? Um, these guys can actually get to be up to 50 years old. Big so whoa. quite a while, yeah. <laughs> so how old is Mole? Mole here is actually four years old. So he's still got a lot more living to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he does. Yeah. Um, okay, for such a small turtle, because he's small, how does he avoid being eaten by a predator? Uh, good question. So in order to avoid predators, if they sense that a predator might be nearby, they usually will dive into the water and bury themselves deep inside of the mud. Okay. And considering that nice dark color on their mm -hmm. shell, they camouflage really well in the dark, muddy waters that you find around here. Uh -huh. So it's not like crystal clear sure. blue like yep. in Hawaii. Right. And so it makes it a lot harder for predators to find them. And of course, they have that nice hard shell. So it's made out of some pretty strong materials. The shell is made out of bone. Oh. And it's covered in a thin layer of protein called keratin which is the same stuff that makes up our fingernails. All right, there you go. All yeah. right. okay. So how are these guys doing in their natural habitat? Um, they're not doing so well. So mm. these guys are actually considered endangered, Why? which means that their population numbers are getting significantly lower and lower. Mm -hmm. And if we do, don't, don't do something soon, they could actually become extinct. And oh. it's interesting because these guys were actually considered one of the most common turtle species found in the vicinity of New York City back in the 1900s. No kidding. So this drastic population decline is actually due to mostly habitat loss, pet trade, and water pollution. Mm. These guys are very sensitive to toxins in the water, and their small size means that these guys are pretty attractive for the pet trade. Gotcha. Yeah, they would be. Um, I heard that the gender of a turtle is yeah. determined by temperature. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, so with spotted turtles, they're gender is actually determined by the temperature of the nest. So if it's mm -hmm. cooler, it'll mostly result in male hatchlings. If it's warmer, mostly female hatchlings. Um, the actual temperature that determines the two is very different depending on which species you're talking about. Wow. Um, so how important are these spotted turtles to our ecosystem? These guys are actually really important because they are what we call bioindicator species. Uh -huh. So they tell us how healthy the ecosystem might be. These guys, they only like to live in environments with clean water. Um, if it's polluted, they either have to move out or they don't survive. So scientists can figure out what their population number is in a certain habitat, and they can tell in general how healthy the ecosystem is. Cool. So if there's a lot of them, that means that the environment yeah. is doing pretty well. Sure. And if the, there's not a lot of them where we used to find a lot of them, that suggests that the environment could be stressed, which means possibly polluted water, or maybe they were over collected for the pet trade in that area. Oh, wow. Hmm. So how can we help the spotted turtle? Um, the main way we can actually help the spotted turtle in our own homes on a day-to-day -day basis is make sure we limit the water pollution. So don't put a lot of like fertilizers or other harsh chemicals in your lawn. Um, if you have plastics, make sure to recycle them. Yep. Um, don't put them in the trash or on the ground. Both chemicals like fertilizers and plastics can actually wash off to nearby water streams where mm -hmm. these guys live. And that would occur if it's raining or some other event like that. Right. Oh. So now you have a turtle. What's yeah. the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? A good question. So I get asked that a lot. So turtles do spend most of their time in the water, mm -hmm. um, but tortoises spend most of their time on land. So as you see with Mole here, he has webbing in between his toes, yep. and that helps them to propel through the water. Tortoises, on the other hand, tend to have more stumpy, flat legs with yep. claws, kind of like, sort of like an elephant, sure. and that helps them to walk on land and to dig. Um, these guys also spend quite a lot more time in the water, so their shell is this nice streamlined shape, mm -hmm. helps them to glide through the water. Um, tortoises, on the other hand, they tend to have a higher dome shell. Sure. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, thank you thank for you coming. Guys. Thank you. If you want to know more about this animal and others like it, 
go to our website, homeworkhotline.org, and click on videos.